Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel 2, where last episode the operation to retake Heimdall began as the 3rd and 4th armoured approaching from different angles found themselves mired in battle with powerful foes. The students of Thor's took their chance to head to Corel Imperial Villa, with Reen's squad moving in to save the royal family at last. This time I'll do it right. I won't have the 200 CP, sure. But this way, I'll take out at least 5 of them and then be able to work on the robot separately and have over 100 CP afterwards. Very well. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Understood. To me. Spam those s crafts. My blade will cleave the grits and light the way. A lot of guys. Well, that's the first, two times first new bonus. Curse you. That's way more effective than our 200 CP one. My turn. Green is at 91 CP. There are four. There. Yeah. It was on fire. That's not what we want to see. Here I go. Ha! Now's our chance. I'll back you up. Very well. Want to get that CP via me various methods? I'm guessing the Clem Slarion or Kill Slipney over there. So we've got to go for this one, really. Onward. I wasn't near enough. Fly. Now's our chance. There. Someone actually does get to go next. Laura's burning. They're attacking Laura. Predictable. Oh, you moron. Now! Emma always says no. Barely survived enemy. Of course! I'd rather Reen got this skill. Here I go! Well, he's doing something! Dying, that's for sure. Was he self-destructing or something? I don't know. That's the power of the eight leaves. But we'll let Rain get the C Rain. Rain get the CP for the kill. I did it! Right, through this door must be something. Are we really this fast on our operation? If we are, then we know something else is going to come. And that's the scary thing, isn't it? <laughs> right, everyone should be ready. CP-wise, we're not exactly topped out on everyone. Green especially, but we're good for the fight. What is behind this door? What strong person have they left to defend it? Let's just say, anything but McBurn, right? I dropped my controller. <laughs> Timing. Oh, Marcius! Oh, Dad! Reen? Is that... Is that really you? It is. It's me. I'm so glad you're safe. Are you hurt, Dad? I'm fine. We all are, fortunately. Though I never thought you would come all the way here to rescue us. We've received word that our daughter has been under your care, however. Class 7, was it? Thank you for coming to our rescue. It's an honor, Your Majesty. We are unfit to receive such kind words. <sighs> <laughs> I'm relieved to see everyone here is all right. That's far enough. <gasps> oh. 
Altina! I count 18 days since our last meeting, Reen Schwarzer. Which would have been aboard the Pentagruel. That's right. Did you know we were coming? Affirmative. I received instructions from Lord Rufus to wait here for you. My brother told you? <sighs> he really never misses a beat, does he? Just who are you anyway? That puppet of yours is just like Milliam's. You aren't sisters or something, are you? In a sense, yes. You couldn't be. What? Seriously? You don't look that much alike. She would be the elder sister, while I would be the younger one. Do keep in mind that our purposes differ to some extent, however. It sounds like there's more to the two of you than meets the eye. I can't deny being curious about who you really are, but now isn't the time to get to the bottom of that. If you intend to stand in our way, then we intend to remove you by force! Right. And sorry, but we won't be holding back. Reen! Be careful, son. I see no meaning in negotiating further. And while I remain partially reluctant, I will rely on the society's contraptions for backup. <gasps> Good luck, everyone! Please, step back. Black Rabbit Altina. Model name OZ-74. Commencing operation. Model name, eh? Beginning combat. Why, you Support go first? me, Clown Solius. Forming barrier. My Physical turn. reflex. Well, that's annoying. Well, if that's how it's gonna be... Yeah! Let's set up. Tick, tick, tick. Here I go. All right, physical reflect means we obviously can't just bust out an s graph now to hit Altina. We've got to kind of hit her with something small and then go up from there. So that's going to be a bit annoying. Apart from that, she does have a chance, sense of chance to be delayed. A lot of people do. Blind, confuse on those guys. Of course, we've got a, a, a lost art that we can use to confuse and with, so that'd be cool. Um, not Gale. I mean, do we just let Reen get hit with his ridiculously good thing? Or just go for the two in the back? There! Ha! This is gonna set him well well away from the noble command, but if you know what I mean, I think we need to work on the ads, and then we'll go from there. Leave Speed down, me. move down more. Laura, you definitely do not want to be hitting them. Will ADF down help for you? Oh, I doubt it somehow. But insight's not bad. <laughs> Pretty sure these guys are cast as after all. I'll handle this. Alright, so whatever our cast will end up after. Altina will get to move again no matter what. Which makes me wonder, can I even get my spell reflect up before everything goes to pop? And this would normally be the time for noble commands to come Now's out. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass! Leave it to me! To me. It's my turn! The arena is now too far away. Arc is activate! Bionic, fire! Phew, that insight really did help! Now! Are we gonna get- I guess we're gonna get Yusus in to physically attack the other guy then? To physically attack Altina? It's my turn! We've got fully charged arts. We're good there. Huh? We've got some criticals coming up go. too. Okay, now I'll let the Fizz Autumn Leaf cut here. Clear. I don't think that will cause delay on Reen. Now. I should use Burst, I'll but then I'm up. worried about the physical reflect. Now it's going to reflect. 
Now I use Burst Neck now that she's lost that. And with the 80 delays we've got on the other mob, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> that was a big hit. Very well. Too bad we can't get the counter from there, right? Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Of course. Understood. Right, everyone else's speed is to max. Of course. And oh, that falls on a critical. <laughs> I kind of want to steal that zero up. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Onward! Burn! Right! Overdrive! Zero Art uses? He gets Zero Arts anyway, but he's going to use his Lost Start. Technically, we could use her Lost Start too and double our HP at this point. That'd be pretty good on top of that. Alright, what are we looking for to do at this point? We've already kind of got their movement speed down, etc., haven't we? That guy's got moved down. That guy's got moved down once. The other guy's got moved down double. But they're dying, and we haven't even got a scan yet. Oh, well, that's just going to be the way it is. No scan, we're going for the throat. Works for me. I wish that caused, like, an area of effect attack, to be honest. We could mute them, could we? I'm not even kidding. It's, but that does spell of damage, doesn't it? Mute 50. I don't think they'll be alive after what we've done to them, though. No escape. Actually, I shouldn't get this guy in a line with Reed. I think about it. They're off guard. Our time is now. Very right. Understood. Set. Ha. So nearly all dead. CP plus 100 gain? Ah, oh, I thought your lost up was better than that. I was simply a manu. I forgot completely. Well, I guess this won't hurt. Huh. I forgot that hit the CP 100 one. It's Elliot. <laughs> We've met Not them multiple times about before. Curious. Leave this to me. Curious, is it? I don't know. Well, it helps below half, which means she's probably going to rock out some kind of S-craft. We have to assume that at this point. Shatter! They're off guard! Got the fence down. <laughs> Will that only last for one turn? I don't know. Forming barrier. Okay, she's Let's just move. gone with a physical reflect again. Annoyingly on Reen's turn. It's my turn. She's quite fast. Whenever she casts that physical reflect, she's generally getting something else going on with her life. I don't know. I want lost Eden. Whoa, I've actually been draining mana. I didn't even realize. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Maybe Analysis use too many complete. spells. A girl who belongs to the Black Workshop fills a mission with Clem Soleil to decide. Very well. Right, we've got the scan on the main person. That's all we care about. We might meet more golden things after all. Right, how are we dealing with you? We've still got, like, our noble commands up on those two. And they've got their ATS for enough turns that they should be fine with it. I'm not even kidding. Holy shit. Protect us. In case she's going to do something crazy soon, let's make one person at least immune. Uh-oh. It hits the whole group. Extermination. Commence. Thanks. Oh, Reen hung on with 24 HP. I'm not done yet. We're still alive. We're still in this, Altina. What are you going to do about it? 
have an AC delay. My turn. We're all good. Eustace is there like, I'm glad I used that thing. I could just get a shining on with you now, really. Everyone's a bit like, oh. Seraphic ring we've got in the back pocket, I think, so we should be fine. And I can always use like something like Holy Breath just in case too. I know who goes first, that's the problem. Just do an airstrike so I can see what comes up next. Uh, I need to turn this around. Yes, we do. Ah, oh, we're a little bit short. Always gonna be a little bit short. She says. She doesn't care. Now's our chance. She's continuing to go in. My turn. Thanks. You have my thanks. I have to top up them. <laughs> Thank you very much. My turn. I mean, we could have just switched to Elliot. And that's game. Now. I'll you up. Very it well. will live, but so barely. It was a close run thing, right? Uh, thanks. You have my thanks. Leave this to me. And now we're healing just Here to make sure it's a foregone conclusion. It's over. My turn. Uh, it's done. I suppose I should thank you. No criticals mean My no turn. good damage. No way to delay this time. I'll back you up. Very Green's well. on a critical coming up too. Oh, well, that'll be it. You were critical then. Basically, we're just going to knock it down slowly, try to regenerate some more CP, and My if turn. push comes to shove, we'll just use... Yeah, I would literally just use... Wow, this AT delay is silly. It feels like Richard, but spell My turn. If in doubt, Laura just uses her s -track. That's the goal. There. My turn. Arcus, activate. Of course. Ten million spells later. <sighs> so there's this little girl, and she's currently in the middle of like 70 million guys trying to beat the Avalon and crap out of her. And when I, I say trying, this. that's what they're doing. Because this, this is, is it. it. Jinx, Jesus. Jinx, Jesus. Your swordsmanship continues to impress. <laughs> well, I'm in good company. You did set up that final blow. Give me the levels. Hmm. Not bad. Lore 117. A matter Eustace, of course. 118. I'm so glad. Emma 118. Exactly how Marcus, it should 114. Be. Who's learnt petrification shell 2 petrify 60% in an area large? I've got it! Anyway, 116. <laughs> she did put up quite a fight. <sighs> They're unbelievably strong. Still, victory is ours. Elise! Reen! <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to you. If I weren't so weak, you wouldn't have been stuck here worrying all this time. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter to me one bit. All that matters now 
is that you're here with me. And besides, I know I've caused you no shortage of grief by being here. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Holding you in my arms makes carrying all the grief in the world worthwhile. Spare a thought for the people forced to watch this sappy display. And Emma. <laughs> I'm feeling a little emotional myself now. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a nicer, happier ending. What a truly inspiring bond they share. <laughs> it's good to see them together again. I'm glad to see you alive and well, Dad. That I am. Sorry to have worried you. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at you! You've certainly grown into a fine young man since I last saw you, haven't you? It... Try not to cheese me in front of the Imperial family, okay? <laughs> Oliver chose well when entrusting the Courageous to them. <laughs> Looks like our plan was a perfect success. Hey guys, looks like things went okay on your end too. Indeed. I guess that takes care of the Imperial Guardsmen here. Reen Schwarzer, as well as each of the other members of Class 7. You have my most sincere gratitude for what you have done. We really can't begin to thank you enough. Please, don't thank us. We simply did our duty as Erebonian citizens. Besides, we wouldn't have been able to do anything alone. We only came this far because the whole Academy was behind us. I swell with pride to hear as much. My alma mater seems to be raising truly exceptional students these days. I couldn't be happier. Did I hear that right? You attended Thor's as well, Your Majesty? That I did. It's a long-standing tradition that the men of the Imperial family attend the Academy. Oliver did in his younger years, and, Adios willing, Cedric will as well. Oh. Come to think of it... Where is the Crown Prince? Yeah, I can't see that little cutie anywhere. V, stop being so disrespectful! Well... The Crown Prince was taken from here several days ago. We were told he was going to somewhere in Heimdall, but nothing beyond that. That's all? That's a little unsettling. If you're looking for the Crown Prince, he's been escorted to the palace. Valflame Palace? But why? For what possible reason could he have been taken there? To cooperate in a ritual. Specifically, Duke Cayenne wishes to use the Crown Prince in a ritual, which will be conducted shortly. A uh, ritual? Where does the Duke fit in all this? Hmm. Sounds like you've got a lot of juicy information you're going to be sharing with us. My thoughts exactly. Fee! Milliam! On it. Roger! Huh. Stay right where you are. <laughs> you're trapped now! I know little more about the ritual than you do. One thing I do know, however, is that you're too late to stop it from taking place. Just how soon is this ritual? What's going on? Oh, this is like back in the classroom. <sighs> Where's it coming from? I think it's from above us. Shh. No. This... this can't be happening. Emma? What's wrong, Emma? This song is the Hexen clan's most strictly forbidden incantation. A song to summon the vermilion despair from the deepest darkness. Lucifer lead. What's happening? An earthquake. Its source is the palace. So, they intend to recreate what happened 250 years ago. Majesty? Thou art the Vermilion Emperor, 
keeper of a thousand weapons and ruler of the interval between heaven and hell. As a rightful descendant of the Guardians of the Blaze, I offer unto you this song of exultation. Yes! Yes! That wretched Emperor may have halted my ancestor's ambition, but I will grant it in his place. Sorry about this, Your Highness. Just bear with it a while longer until this is all over. Aegis' his name? You're not gonna say anything? What is that? Yeah! Guess that bad feeling I had was right on the mark. <sighs> is that...? What does the Duke think he's doing? So that's the Infernal Castle. It's just as the Black Records described it. But this time, only the Ashen awoke to do battle with the Azure. On that point, it's very different from before. I can't help but wonder what the outcome will be. <laughs> it's simply too early to tell. However, regardless of who wins, the Noble Alliance's victory is all but artfully displayed on a silver platter. We of Ouroboros will be able to advance our plans, and I will be able to grant my own wish. Let us be going, Grianos. We must guide this story to its grand finale. Would you care to accompany us, Your Excellency? If you come, I would be most delighted to prepare you a special seat. 
A tempting offer, to be sure, but I'm afraid I'll have to decline. I'll leave the unseen side of this war to you and Duke Cayenne. I'm content to keep watch over the public face of it, whatever ends up coming to pass. How very cold. Well then, I bid you adieu. Whose ballad are you singing with that splendid voice of yours, I wonder? I don't suppose it matters. I have my own duty to attend to. Concern yourself with the castle. Leave that to me. Focus on our aerial defense as I instructed. The crimson wings will grace these skies soon enough, and I want you to be ready for them. Excuse me. My final mission still remains to be completed. Oh. Sorry. She got away. Oopsie. We were supposed to keep her there, weren't we? It doesn't matter. She's the least of our worries now. Just what is that building? Is everyone all right? Oh, sup, Claire? Toa, Angelica. I take it you were able to deal with the Imperial Guard's main force? Correct, we were also able to secure the rail route leading here as well. I've prepared a high speed vehicle to take all of you away from the city where it will be safer. Please come with me. But, but. We should do as she says. Remaining here will inconvenience our people. I suppose you're right. Please take care, Your Majesty. I'd like to return to City Hall at once. Could you arrange that for me, Captain? D Dad! But, sir. I'm the governor of Heimdall. These may be unusual circumstances, but I have my duties in that capacity to fulfill. The Noble Alliance is likely in a state of confusion after what's happened. This is an excellent time to begin negotiations. As you wish, Your Excellency, I'll have a car prepared at once. I leave the capital in your hands, Governor. Certainly, Your Majesty. Everyone, please hurry to the Courageous. We need to gather as much info as we can, can on exactly what's happening here. Uh, all right! You might even need to help evacuate the citizens of Heimdall if it comes to it. Reen? What's wrong? Well... I'm sorry, Toa. Valamar and I won't be coming with you. We're going to that castle. What? B but why? You can sense Crow there, can't you? Along with his Azure Knight. Oh. I see. Right. I'm all but certain that castle is meant to be the final stage Valima and I will have to stand upon. I have this feeling like it was prepared by some kind of grand destiny. One so great, even the War of the Lions itself was only a fraction of it. You might actually be right, Reen. Your mind's made up, then. Well, in that case, you're not going alone. We're all four students just like you and Crow. But Toa, she's right. You might think you're fated to go there, but what's going on concerns us just as much as it concerns you. And you'll feel exactly the same way. we are close classmates too. And yours. You have as much right to take part in this as you do. I refuse to simply sit and watch by the sidelines. Or you won't hear any different. Yeah, don't try and go alone now after we've come this far together. You're not the only one with a stake in this. I need to see with my own two eyes exactly what my brother intends to achieve, so I refuse to be left behind. Yeah, I'm coming with you too! Besides, with the state the capital's in, I can't pretend this has nothing to do with me. You guys are the best, you know. 
Uh, I was going to say that at least Emma and I should accompany you, but why say the obvious at this point? Class 7's bonds are far stronger than our need to fulfill our duty. Naturally, I'm no exception. You sure have changed. <laughs> well then, I'll leave everything to you, Captain. I'm sure you've already gotten some of the RMP in the city by now, right? Of course, leave everything to us. Lecter is back now as well, so as soon as the opportunity to do so presents itself, I'll hurry along to support you. I'm sure you will all perform admirably. Make good use of what you've learned in the Academy, and your path is sure to open. May Adios be with you all. Please, take care of yourselves. We will. Thank you. Fear not, Your Majesty. We shall return safely, together with His Highness Crown Prince Cedric. Thank you. I want you to accept this. I can believe this. I can't. I can. The Grand Cordon has been received. Well, well. That's an honour given only once every few years. Looking at the medals my daughter has awarded you with, it's clear that you more than deserve it. I would ask each of you to accept one. At least I can give to you after all you've done for Ebonia. We are truly unworthy, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. Go forth, bearers of the Horned Lion Crest. Fight not for the future of this nation, but for your own individual futures. And when this is over, return to your loved ones safe and unharmed. Yes, Your Majesty. And so we find ourselves a point to save. Everything is going crazy. The finale was not the finale, but yeah, you knew there was going to be more. By a mile. It's trails. We know that. So let's drop a save. And move on. Let's continue. Orbital engines and flight engines are both running at optimal levels here. We're ready for combat anytime. I don't doubt the enemy's mothership will try and attack, but you just leave that to us. Understood. Enlighten me on one detail before I go, if you will. Why exactly is Elise on the Courageous? I know you don't approve of my being here, Rain, but please. Allow me the privilege of at least watching over you. I won't ask to accompany you like your classmates. I promise. That goes without saying. I know you can use a sword, but not anywhere near the level. All right, all right, we get it. We know you're worried about her, but try and see things from her side. <laughs> if I may be frank, we couldn't ask for a better way to keep you in check than having her on board. <laughs> for once, we're in agreement. Damn you guys. Thank you all for your support. As if anyone in here could turn down those doe eyes of yours, young lady. Oh, now, now I'm worried. Remember, there are a lot of people here waiting for you to come home safely. So don't you dare do anything too rash. I concur. You need something to restrain them. You too, Valimar. <laughs> Afraid you're completely outnumbered, Reen. You're not going to change their minds, so you might as well just give up and accept fate. Come on, Reen. You should know when to pick your battles at this point in the game. Fine, fine! Thank you, Reen. And everyone else, too. <laughs> Honestly. Oddly enough, I think that little exchange helped ease the tension around here. <laughs> There's a break in the clouds ahead. Coming out into Heimdall! Whoa! How can something like that exist? Hmm. That thing's gotta be like, what? 800 arch tall? It's called the Infernal Castle. It once appeared during the War of the Lions as well. And from there, it must have been sealed away by Draco's the Lionheart and the Lance Maiden. What are they trying to do with it? 
Look, there. Distance is 2,500. It's coming this way. They've activated their gun turrets. They're not even issuing any warnings. All engines, full power. Land the ship in Draco's Plaza. Dodge any attacks coming our way. Aye, aye, Captain. Twelve seconds till we reach max speed. Main cannons and secondary armaments are ready to fire. All crew members, prepare for impact and the effects of G-forces. Fire, friendly fire! Okay, it's going fast. Show up. Looks like Bellamar and I will have to leave them to us. The plan was that we would take care of everything here, and we will do so. Please proceed onward. Patrick, Celestine, we'll be counting on you. Good luck. Loggins. Right back at you. Here we go, Emily. Right. <laughs> As a member of the Florald family, I shall not be defeated. And I will gladly fight at your side, Master Vincent. Let's go, High Bell. What kind of second years would we be if we didn't help out our underclassmen? Let the battle begin! Rate, we might not have to actually do anything. Sounds fine by me. Still, don't you think it's about time you stopped holding back? <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Oh dear, it looks like we may have to fight after all. What's the world coming to when a guy can't even have a smoke in peace? Well then, let's not keep them waiting! Now's our chance. Take care, everyone! May Adios be with you all! Right. All right! Great power. Wait! What's that? Is that some sort of spiritual wall? Yes, it's a spiritual barrier, and an incredibly powerful one at that. Oh, damn her! Whoa! Looks like it's not going to work. If Valimar can't break through it, there's no way Lammy can. Ugh. Isn't there anything we can do? I think there is. Thanks to the Zemurian Ore, I should be able to amplify my power and channel it through my sword. Can you do that, Valimar? It is theoretically possible. 
Bear in mind, the burden will result in me being immortal for some time. Sorry to ask, but let's do it! Spirit Unification! with Ordeen. Now, everyone, let's get inside. Follow Reen's lead. I'm All right. Good. Looks like we're just gonna have to leave everything to them now. Good luck, everyone. Adios, please watch over them. So we enter the Infernal Castle at last. We'll have to proceed on foot from here, obviously. Okay, now this is a final dungeon. Words seem to have little meaning at this point. Yeah, all we can do is steal ourselves and get moving. Crow and the Azure Knight are in here, right? Yes, and I'm almost certain Vita is too. Duke Cayenne and the Crown Prince are likely accompanying them as well. Zeno and Leo are probably waiting in ambush somewhere around here, I guess. And I wouldn't be surprised if we met one or two Ouroboros enforcers along the way. How are you holding up, Reen? Not too tired? I'm fine, thank you. I've received several hours of rest being required. By my calculations, I should return to peak condition in time for the battle against the Azure Awakener. Good to hear. All right, ready to get moving? This place carries its weight in history, with ties to both the Divine Knights and the War of the Lions. But that doesn't matter. Not now, anyway. All that matters is that you're here, and you have everyone back at the Academy behind you. No matter what you face here, never forget that. Uh, thank you, Instructor. We won't. Well, with that said, Class 7, our mission is to investigate this strange castle and find a way to return things to normal. Remember, we're also here so we can carve out a future we've chosen for ourselves. And if we want Crow to be a part of that future, it's time we show him just how far we've come by being together. There's no turning back from here. So let's just keep moving forward. All right. Right. And so we get three support characters for our dungeoneering here. Should we go with the same group we were with last time, more or less? I think it's time to not think about spreading out levels and more just go for the throat and destroy. Destroy! Destroy! Should I take Sarah? Technically too many spellcasting characters. I feel like Sarah doesn't really fulfill a niche to me so much at the moment actually now. Maybe it might be better to take Elisa. No joke. <sighs> well, there we go. A mix. A balance. And a battery, as we would call it. So let's get moving. Uh -huh. This place is like, going to be pretty tough to get through. By tough, I mean fun. Well, fun for me, at least. If you need me in Lamy, just tag us in. Putting you to some fiend sounds way better than just standing around here. Sure. No matter what Dukayan and Miss Vita are planning, we can't let them stop us. 
we're going to beat them. Take back Fro and bring peace back to this nation. And then we're going to make it to the top floor. We've had a couple of visitors from Ouroboros drop in and say hello. It's fine by me, though. After all the trouble they've caused me, they've earned themselves a real beating. But if I'm not there, you're just going to have to hand out that beating yourself. Give them help for me. These ominous winds inside this castle. We'll have to be careful. There's no way for us to go but up. It's the only way we can protect the homes we hold dear. By the way, Valimar, are you saying it takes several hours to recharge since that's how long the dungeon is? Wouldn't surprise me. I expect it will take time for my mana to fully recover. Mana! However, I will be sure that it's done by the time you're ready to battle the Azure Awakener. Leave in yourselves and press on. Mana. Right. Ooh. You look fancy. Uh, there's actually new weapons here. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the sidecar. Licked armor. Licked cleaves too. Pendulums that we can buy on top of that. Wow, okay, this new shop. Pretty cool. I should buy some new stuff when it's available to me though, so... Let's buy a Nirvana for you, I guess. A uh, Califrich. Yes, that word. Sally Edges. Uh, I'm lacking a bit of money now, though. I'll sell some battle jackets, maybe, to make up for it. That'll allow me to buy another fancy weapon, surely. Califrich. Let's buy Principality. Yeah, sure. I mean, there's also like other weapons to buy too. Got the Gulen there. I mean, like, yeah. Laura's weapon's already equipped, right? So I didn't need to worry about equipping that. Brynhilda's already on there, yeah. So I can sell some weapons. Uh, you can also synthesize rare courts too. And also, there might be the possibility to actually get another Zamorian or weapon by looking at it. So when it says rare quartz, it's talking new material plus spell. So this is the trade function. Okay. Exorb settings as well. We can make them here and insert them here. I'm quite fine with that, to be honest. It's a lot to look at, isn't there, all of a sudden? I don't think we've got any... Oh, we do, actually. Anyone like the music that's going on in the background? In terms of defences, we lose some stats to go for the other thing. But there will be some people that will actually just be a straight upgrade for. Yeah, let's get Elliot the Licked Armour. Everyone else is more or less decreased the speed, etc. I guess you'd want to get him the his next weapon as well, but then you don't really need to, do you? I feel like we've got a good enough setup for it, but let's drop a save now, hey? Should have saved my money, should have bought a sidecar. That sidecar was literally with a weapon. Be crazy. One way to go, one route. And the way backwards is blocked off yet again. How far can you go backwards? Oh, look at all these pots! For those curious enough to look back, these pots are plenty. Can't upgrade weapons, I don't have any Zamarian ore. It's not going to be easy to get through that barrier. Alright, we should leave everything outside to the courageous and fine crow. Looked like the weapon upgrade was entirely to Marine Oil. Plus, they're already upgraded. So they're already with the ATS plus 30 crit plus 5%. It's just buying an upgraded weapon. 
I fought you new trails. I'll come back here because there's obviously going to be Zurian ore shards somewhere around here. Probably like there was at the end of Trails of Cold Steel 1. Of course! Bring it on! I hate those things, but what's with the Here weird horses? Got well, a seraphic gate, which is annoying enough. But we've also got Ebony Pawns as well. We're going to the Ebony Pawn Shop. Ha! My turn. Alright, let's make sure they can't do anything. What are we looking at spell-wise here? Cross Crusade would be good. Marcus, activate! Here I go! Let's get a scan on this guy. the enemy's vitals. Analysis complete. A glistening, mysterious statue unleashes rays of light and lowers foes' mobility with a cursed roar. I hate these things. So we need to kill it. It must die. Onward! Die! I think it's dead. They're off guard! There! Your swordsmanship continues to impress. <laughs> well, I'm in good company. Technically, I should change them to have the link and have Usis and Emma linked for the char arts charge. So there are high-level spirits in here, after all. I am surprised when it's also known as the Vermilion Apocalypse's castle. What grandmother said in the past, we're in for quite an ordeal here. I think we have the two of you to help fill us in on what to expect. I don't know. We do have some knowledge about it, but this isn't exactly the same castle that appeared here 250 years ago. The castle's layout and contents change depending on both who summons it and what circumstances they summon it in. I like how the Divine Knights change slightly depending on who their Wakener is. That's unbelievable! This place is sounding more far-fetched by the minute. Looking for a castle summoned by a witch. Regardless, Strike was the Lionheart and the Lance Maiden conquered this castle in the past, and we shall do the same. Oh well, no turn back now. Alright, stay alert and get moving. Right! So we're in the Infernal Castle first, Stratton. Oh my god. We've got some ways to travel by the look of it. We have the advantage here. Not what I was going for. Let's move. I will admit. Not what I was going for. There! Technically, now. I don't know why I cast that. Now! I'll back you up! Oh, Reen's gonna get 20 CP. You're finished. Very well. Because we can still kill this guy after all. We haven't got the scan on it yet, but let's just finish the job, you know? Let me cast in this guy a bit. I shall fulfill my duty as a noble. Don't even know if it is that. But we're actually higher level than the area. Great! I'm so glad. Hm. Not bad. <laughs> I did it! Huh? Thank goodness! Everyone's leveling up, at least at 111, the lowest, however. Like, we're higher level than the monsters. Great! Ha! Monster 118, our highest character is 119. That's not bad. We also know this is going to take some time. My turn. Let's get this over with. My turn. All right, we got the Judge Pillars. Weak to burn immensely. Stats down. Somewhat delay. Burn to ash. Fall. Everything. No, not everything is My outside turn. of the range of reading one shot yet. Of course. So I'll take what I can get with Analyzing that. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. I've got it! I have any pillar which acts as a judge, stops those who touch it from moving and uses healing arts. My turn. Do you want to smack that guy, Laura? Die. 
very well. <laughs> Should Leverine take that? I shall fulfill my duty as a noble. Ares has reached level 5. Oh, Elliot now has the water bell kind of effect on it. Maelstrom, 20% of damage is HP gain through offensive arts, 2% of damage is EP. And that beautiful water bell effect, which makes us even faster with those big off spells. 